hello everyone welcome back to channel guys in front of you xerox photocopier with all in one multifunctional printer scanner printer and uh, copier the model number is db215 okay b215 after each command of print it's printing the banner sheet okay how to disable the banner sheet printing today i'm going to teach you stay with me and watch the complete video there is no option on the screen to disable the banner sheet printing okay first of all there is no options here so don't waste the time in this screen don't find here okay if we will move to the computer screen and this is the print managers application print manager okay it's in arabic now uh, but there is no option in this system also there is no option here and there is no option if you will right click and go to printing properties and if you will go to driver page printing defaults and there is no options here this is the printing preferences here in, in arabic language but there is no option here to disable banner sheet printing option okay now i'm going to teach you if you have the same problem and the same number of machine so or, or any other model how to disable the banner sheet printing uh, first of all i connected this printer with the network port okay i have network cable connect this printer with the network port okay after you connect make sure that in the print manager application here it must be uh, enable advanced setting and device settings in device setting you have to go at the uh, network settings okay go network settings and you have to select here network connectivity wired because if there is no wired selected here your printer will not work with the network port so we want to disable balance uh, banner sheet printing i have to enable first wired then printer will take ip address automatically okay then we will print configuration page so you have to you have to go here mal uh, information printer information and configuration page print when you will print configuration page okay here we go it printed this page and it took the ip address of my computer uh, my network sorry uh, it will show here okay here we go it's take the ip address of my router so i have to enter this ip address into i have to come to my laptop screen and i will enter the ip address that it it uh, took from my router this uh, 192.168.11.103 okay write the ip address over here it will take to you this page but before you enter this page uh, it will ask you the username and password username is admin the default password is serial number of the machine serial number you will find back side of the printer okay so i just uh, completed this step a while ago so it's not showing to me uh, the this uh, password page you have to enter the password the serial number then it will ask you again the new password so new password you have to type admin or admin then press save then it will take to you this screen here we have to change stop the uh, banner page printing okay i will go to properties and then here is option is printing go to printing and then here option banner page select banner page and in banner page you have to disable this option and press apply and asking now the username and password pass username is admin and password is also i just changed from serial number to admin okay we press enter selection have been modified successfully okay now the selection has been modified successfully now i will again give the print i will see now is it printing the banner page again or not i will go will go to printer properties uh, test page printing and now before it was printing two pages so i have to see now I suppose it should be print one page look it didn't print the banner banner page so that's the process i will repeat again connect your printer with the network port to access this uh, configuration through uh, google chrome or any browser and enable wired connection from the easy print manager application then print the configuration page enter the ip address in the google chrome and then disable okay the password of the user entering here the serial number serial number of the device is the password default password 
If you have any other question, ask in the comments. Thank you for watching. All the best.